Hey Grains, wanted to let you know that I am hearing you loud and clear that you want a crafting video. The last few videos for the last few weeks were pre-recorded because I've been traveling to the US and Japan. So I promise, as of Friday, we will have way more crafting videos. Gomen nasai! Hey Grains, welcome to another Cash or Trash, a show where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that we waste our money and you don't. Today I am joined by my sister Sika. I was like, hi, where's my name? <laughs> hi. <laughs> and with all the changes coming to YouTube in January 2020, where they're going to be flagging kids' content and we might probably be demonetized, welcome to our new background. We have now moved my studio into a garage. They've nicely let us use their, their shop. Once in a while, you're going to hear that drilling sound. It's going to be a little annoying. Or maybe we should move somewhere else. I think we should move somewhere else. Where? Italian restaurant, maybe. All right, Italian. Stay in the street anyway, so <laughs> it's not too far. All right, Italian restaurant it is. Or maybe something a little more adult-like, like wine and cheese. Hmm. Wine and cheese could work. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to let the editing dictate it. There. That's the background for the rest of the day. Good enough, I guess. It'll work. And with the holidays right around the corner, for those of you who are last minute and love to buy the gifts, again, you know, from the pharmacy. No, pretend you don't know. A last minute person, aren't you? Confess. You don't know me? The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> and the sword? I gave her a sharp pointy thing. Don't wave it. Don't wave it! So today we're going to be looking at three craft kits that you can buy last minute from either a pharmacy like CVS or whatever ones you have in your country. And we're going to figure out whether they are worth your cash or they go in the trash. First one is going to be a Bloom toy. This has been really popular. Many of you grains tag me to check it out. It's supposed to be a toy where it grows from the soil. I guess that's the symbol for growing now. Next we have a glowing slime kit and its little sister, the strawberry kit, because I wanted strawberry. She really wanted the glow in the dark. And last but not least, we have an ultimate slime kit. Ultimate kit slime, it says. Oh, ultimate kit slime. Yeah, it's got a weird English thing going on there. You know what that means? English, English number one. one. <laughs> And this box promises five batches that we should be able to put together. Everything from glitter, rainbow, sparkle, neon crunch. And crunchy. And just crunchy. <laughs> As long as we don't eat that. And so the reason we have to put the background as something adult-like is because slime has been flagged as Childish. for children. Even though I'm making the review for you grains who want to buy them. So. Gotta do what we gotta do. Stop! What is the white? What, what do you see there? I'm not really sure what's happening back there. Why did you let the editor pick? Our first victim, I mean review, is Bloom Grow Your Own Doll Kit. Now, this is supposed to be a kit because it, according to the box, it includes 10 surprises inside. For $20, it is quite an expensive toy. It's very heavy. But at the same time, it's supposed to be an activity, so I really wonder how long does this activity last and whether or not the little thing that we're getting really is, is worth $20. $20. That's quite yeah. the price tag. Yep. I mean, look at that. Do you think money is, is just raining down all the time? No. Again, as you can see on the box, so a new friend will bloom before your eyes. A friend is worth $20? They put a press tag on a friend? Yeah, some friends are priceless and some friends... I've been hurt so many times. They break them hot. People break them hot. Alright, time to see... What's inside? Oh my god, it's not here. Please, not even going through. 2,000 years later. All right, so we finally got through to the packaging. It is definitely not adult friendly because we needed blades and, 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 and power. Adult friendly? Yeah. It's no one friendly. It's no one friendly. It has salt growing inside. Ooh, salt. Let me find it. Who said you could open it? Ooh, is this the instructions? 
So we're actually filling this with water to try and make whatever is inside grow out. So now we're going to fill it up with water, that little uh, water thing. It just says fill with water. We don't know what it's called. What is it called in English? All right, is it full? You tell me. No! <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. I knew it. It's so chaotic. Now we just get to remove the pink thing down here. The pink lid. Ooh, what's this? We get a sticker. So it feels like a coffee filter, and we are sh we are supposed to we're supposed to, <laughs> we're supposed to just. Sorry, I just noticed there was a lot of water in your hair. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put water on this thing evenly. Are you sure we're not supposed to peel something else? I'm pretty sure because it doesn't look like it's absorbing. the sticker itself says to put it there. Are we supposed to wait? Oh, oh my god! Is something happening? Yeah, look at it. Okay, don't put all in one sorry, spot. Sorry, I oh. got I got really um. Overly excited there. That's kind of creepy. Oh! That is so funny. That is so weird. Did it grow or is that it? Just give it time. It's slowly. All right, put some more water over here, maybe. That's all that's happening? That was that's very... That's all that happens. Because according to the instructions, only the hair is going to pop out. And you have to pull her up by her hair? Yeah, that's... that's... Mm. Hey company, I don't <laughs> think you're supposed to encourage people to pull others by the hair. So that's it. That was anticlimactic. Yeah, that was $20. Yep. What's it even like? Oh, it's very light. Well, she's really in there. <gasps> Did she break? So you don't pull people by the hair. <laughs> All right, hang on. We're going to try to find the pieces now. So here is our doll. Doll. You put it together while I open this thing here. Oh, she's got a little house. So this is the mechanism that it's in. It really is just kind of paper holding it down with springs. See? So this is the doll that we got. We got Mandy. And she comes with a poop companion. And then over here it says she's one of the adorable ones. Oh. Yeah, so it seems like we got one of the most boring ones. Yep. It's just kind of soft serve ice cream on her hair. So in the first box, we get a purse. Remember, we're supposed to be getting 10 surprises, so. 10? Yeah. Sika, I'm gonna let you accessorize her while I open everything here. Next, in this little sink looking thing, is that? Oh, that's her companion, an onion. An onion? Grains, is this a garlic or an onion? I, I think, think it's, it's an, an onion. onion. Yeah, I'd say it's an onion too. So we're supposed to get 10. So far, we only have two. So my guess is in here, the dresser should have the rest. Okay, that's three, four, Shoes. And so here's the doll all dressed up. She has one surprise, which is this. Two surprise, which is the shoes. Then we have her purse, which we dropped. Her onion friend, which is four. And that's it. Where are the other surprises? It specifically says 10 surprises. We only have four of them. She doesn't even stand. So it looks like a hospital gown. <laughs> This is, wow, Mandy, they didn't even give you a proper piece of clothing to cover your butt. Oh, oh Mandy. Mandy. <laughs> so for $20, for those of you thinking about anything like this kit, especially for those of you who are last minute, I would definitely say whatever we get with this goes straight in the trash. Our next kit. We have two from Ricochet, and the last time we did Ricochet, it was crap, absolute poo, because it was gooey, it never activated, and it was just, it either didn't hold, or became just glue. Yeah, it was gross, on so many levels. I don't even know why we're trying this again. I'm just already angry. Because I'm a generous grain, you need to calm down, <laughs> breathe in salt, <laughs> wait, let's put salt in the back, alright, let's breathe it in, and breathe out. Nostrils feel so clear now. <laughs> it's a saline wash. <laughs> saline. Saline or saline? Saline. One of the things. <laughs> Celine Dion. Celine. <laughs> oh, someone needs to make a salt shaker. Celine Dion. Maybe. Why am I even. Okay, you know what? I'm photoshopping it. Here it is. <laughs> Enjoy. One of the things about this kit is that it does actually look cute, but for $7.99, it's pretty light. Feels like there's not much inside, and many of you already know techniques to make slime. So it's $79. Se se $79? $79 it better be wet. Wow, could you imagine doing <coughs> that much oh, slime? The salt is coming out. No, not yet. You told me to calm myself, you calm yourself. You calm yourself. <coughs> you calm yourself down. <laughs> Another allergy of mine it says it includes everything you need. Oh, we moved our heads in the opposite direction. I know. Let's try that again. Includes. <laughs> Okay, ready? <laughs> I hit my teeth on this. 
<laughs> okay, let's try again. Ready? Yeah. In <laughs> I tried to compensate for you. Okay, we're going this so, way. Okay, ready? Includes everything you need. <laughs> Since we have one each, she has the glow in the dark. I have the strawberry. Let's see what we get inside. We get inside for the glow one one mixing stick one bottle of slime activator one bottle of slime base one slime container which is pretty small it looks like a pill bottle it is like a pill bottle why we have too much experience with <laughs> pill bottles hashtag invisible illness one glow in the dark solution and I my instructions tell me that we get one instruction <laughs> <laughs> so the instruction sheet tells you that they you get, get an instruction sheet like what what the fudge? <laughs> it almost broke my little heart. Fudge, see in the background? Fudge. Mm, that looks delicious actually. Can we have brownies? Hashtag feed seagull. Feed her right after. And when it comes to the strawberry one, the instructions are pretty much the same except we get a pot of paint. And it again says that we get instructions. The instructions. I mean, if we don't have the instructions, how do we know if we have instructions? We don't. That's why it lists that it comes with one instruction on the instructions. So for the glow-in-the-dark one, the instructions were pretty straightforward. We have to add the entire slime base, mix it with glow solution. They didn't say how much, so we're going to assume the whole thing. Once it's fully blended, we have to add the entire 10 milliliters of slime activator. Then we're supposed to stir it for one minute, wait 30 seconds, and then our slime is supposed to be ready to use. <laughs> Alright, so we've waited way more than the 30 seconds to make sure that it had enough time to set. Alright, Sika, this is the one you wanted, so go for it. Ugh. It's holding itself? Yeah. Oh, ew. It feels like barbour. Barbour. <laughs> Arabic word for snot. Word of the day. Oh, barbour. that does feel like barbour. Oh, gross. It's so... It's so barbour. And it's mucusy. It's yeah, leaving this mucusy... it's so gross. Residue. Oh, gross. Oh, it's it feels like um phlegm. I know phlegm feels like did you ever spit on like oh, no, but don't like... you ever have phlegm in your mouth? <laughs> yeah, it feels like like look at the shine on my hand. It's very wet. It's very phlegmy. It's really gross. It's not the slime. Uh. <laughs> Why'd you wipe that on me? That's for that one time you licked my arms. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes, I do. I was traumatized as well. Don't put out our dirty laundry over here, okay? That's for the vlog channel. So, in essence, this is not really the slime that you grains like. It's very wet. Yeah. It's very mucusy. So it's leaving a residue, but if it didn't leave the residue, it'd be kind of cool. I wonder yeah. if it actually glows in the dark, though. In the what? The dark. Oh, we're gonna try the glowing in the dark. In the what? <laughs> in the what? what? What'd what? you say? <laughs> what up? The other thing that really sucks, if you want the slime to be more activated, we've used all the materials. They really wanted us to use all the containers to make exactly this here, which means that there's no other way to activate it unless you have activators on hand or, of course, laundry detergent. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the container, put it under a UV light, and then see whether or not it glows in the dark. So, here it is. It's had enough time under the UV light, which should be equivalent to about 5-10 minutes with it, with in regular light. light, sunlight. And here we go. Oh, that took a while. So, even though you grains can see the light a lot more here on camera, it is very, very low. faint. Yeah, you can barely see it. I have the exposure much higher on my camera, so... Think of what you see right now. It's about a quarter of that in real life. Let me show you what it really looks like if I put the exposure off. That's what it is. Not much. Aziz, light. Oh. All right, since this is the kit that Sika really wanted, go for it. What's your verdict? One, to start, <laughs> I'm so angry. I cannot even word. Basically, this here is what you get for $8. One, it's very little. And two, it doesn't even glow in the dark. WTF. So for me, this goes in the trash!
That's a slime duck. And now for the strawberry one, we're adding the entire slime base. And then putting the whole block thing of paint and mixing it until it's fully blended. At this point, they say if we want it to have a scent, we should be putting it in there right now. So they only say a few drops. And then we're putting the whole thing of activator, mixing it for one minute and waiting 30 seconds again. I can I can hear Sika sigh because she is not she is very skeptical on that one. This ain't working. I guess we'll find out. So here it is after it's had enough time to rest from my vigorous shaking and ooh, it holds itself way better. It's a lot less wet. Wait, let me review it. It looks like jello. It does have this feeling of jello. It's a little closer to the slime that you grains are definitely used to. Here, you can touch. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot better. It's so slippery. It's it's very oozy. It's not as bad though as mine was. Mine it's, was just leaking all kinds of weird gross juiciness. It's not barbour. It's not barbour. It's not snot. It's a lot more sticky too. Now the question is, does it smell like strawberries after putting 10 drops? The answer is no. It smells like yogurt. It smells like yogurt. Definitely way better than the first one. Is it worth eight dollars for you? Well, if you're a last minute person going for gifts and you really have no choice but to spend that eight dollars, I would say it's the closest thing to a slime, so. There's so little though. But skeptically, for last minute people, it's worth your cash. I still don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, I'm trying to get it to make the squirty, farty sounds. And the answer is no. It's way too oozy. See, it doesn't want to leave any kind of air. Yeah, it's too liquid. Yeah, it molds too quickly. Yeah. It's no. too liquid. <laughs> Next by our still best friends, Ricochet. Ultimate Kit Slime. You said it right this time. I know, because it's terrible. And this Kit Slime says that we should be getting five types of glitter. I mean, five types of slime. Five types of glitter. Actually, we do have five types of glitter. Six. You lied. <laughs> We get glitter, rainbow, sparkle, neon crunch, and crunchy, which is interesting. I really want to do crunchy slime. I claim crunchy. You can have neon crunch. No, I like crunchy. Fine, I'll take neon crunch. Okay. And it does say the, the thing that we always, interestingly enough, the previous kit actually, actually did, did have, have everything, everything we needed. needed. Can you stop being in my head? This is my home. No, mine too. It's so cozy in there. I know it's warm. And this box also says, Includes everything you need. I oh, actually went with you this time. <laughs> and we do get two mixing tubes. So my guess, do we need any bowls for this? Or do we get to just mix it? Like, like this. Or with, like, with your like, pinky up. <laughs> why? 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 That's how I mix things. Get your mind out of the gutter. But she's putting you in there, isn't she? Why? All right, let, let's stop the delay because it seems really interesting. Let's open it up. Fine, continue. Here's what we get inside. Two little glues, three colorants in green, blue, purple, and purple, two mixing tubes, Beads in transparent as well as colorful. Trashy glitter colors. Mixing stick. Measuring cup. And two bags of cornstarch. Not sure why, but I guess we'll figure that out. The box also mentioned a stirring spoon. That is nowhere to be found. But there's no stirring spoon. Hey, how's the instruction go in there? Um, some of the rules are kind of interesting. It says do not eat slime or any of the ingredients. That's good to know. Do not apply on eyes, lips, or mouth. That's good to know. And you really need to wash your hands thoroughly after use. I thought this was supposed to be non-toxic. But that's good to know. <laughs> Grains, we found the spoon. It is hiding very nicely transparently in here. Here it is, we, we found it. So these instructions don't tell me that we get instructions. They're very inconsistent, Ricochet, very disappointing. I need to know that I get my instructions. Oh, my instruction sheet. <laughs> All right, we have something when it comes to the instructions. Use the measuring cup to add 20 mils of white glue into a bun. <laughs> So the instructions are supposed to be in English, but that's a French word for bowl. Yeah, so they didn't translate the French word for bowl into English properly. Yeah. <laughs> into a bowl. Into a bowl. <laughs> Our bowl calls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
oh by the way, don't repeat these words to your French friends. I'm not gonna say more than that. <laughs> the process to make the slime is pretty similar for any of the types, and only once we get to the sixth step do we start adding different ingredients. So we're going to be adding 20 ml of the white glue, 30 ml of warm water, we're going to stir them together, and then add 110 ml of cornstarch. That's quite a bit of cornstarch. We're at a point now where we're like, the what? Lantia. Yeah, it's, it's so weird because we just realized, wait, there's no activator. and It's it only cornstarch. It's only cornstarch, and it tells us don't use mix your hands to mix it. Yeah, which is kind of a little... Skeptical. And not just that, we have tubes and it doesn't say what to use them for. They're called mixing tubes, not storage tubes. But the instructions have no mention of them. None. So, Ricochet, what the heck? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious now because we need to put the cornstarch, all of this. So this is the measurement they asked us for. We need to put all of this cornstarch in a total of 50 ml of liquid. So I think I'm gonna do the other way around because yeah, I don't think it makes a difference to be honest. I don't think it makes a difference. Let's let's do this. So we're just gonna mix it. I highly doubt it's going to be slime. Oh, that's so weird. It's going to just be a paste, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a new method of making slime. I don't know. I'm just a little grain, but so far, <clears throat> skeptical. We're gonna keep stirring and we're gonna make a crunchy slime. So we're gonna add just a couple of drops of colorant and add these in there. Where'd the color go? Where's the color? Oh my gosh. I feel like this is just water. I think you're gonna need to add like literally the whole thing because I don't see any coloring. Oh, oh no! Really? Hang on, I got, I got this. Gross. Does it feel like just glue? Yeah, it just feels like glue and cornstarch. Where's the color? <laughs> it keeps disappearing. <laughs> All right, so we really tried to put some of the colorant in there and it's just not catching any of the color. It's not turning into slime. I just, I don't get it. Do you want to add some more cornstarch and see if we can fix it up? They do say to add more cornstarch if it's a little too wet, wet, but... And water if it's dry, but this is not dry. This is not dry, so let's try a little more cornstarch and see if we can get it to be a little bit more of a consistency because whatever we put at this point is supposed to be aesthetic, the crunch. So let's just keep stirring. How's it looking? Oh, it's never gonna be slime though. I feel like it's gonna be putty now. I think it's too dry. I can't mix it anymore. It's cornstarch. It's going to be exactly the effect of when you hold it, it's gonna hold itself. And then when you let it go, it's just gonna droop. That's the, that's the cornstarch oh. effect. What'd you do? <laughs> you got it all over me. Oh no. I was trying to stir and it got <laughs> stuck. <laughs> So this kit is utter trash. It is exactly the cornstarch effect when you start making experiments where, let me show you grains. So if you don't know the cornstarch effect, if you mix water and cornstarch, you get this really cool substance in which that if you go quickly, it's blocked on top. But if you go slowly, you can go through. So that is pretty much what we're getting. It is not slime. It is just cornstarch and glue. At no point will this ever be something that you can hold and manipulate, so. And you can't even get it off your fingers. Like I'm trying to get it off my fingers and it's just, it's just spreading. It's so gross. Yeah, and you do not want to throw something like this down the drain because that's gonna cost. It's gonna, gonna cost. clog. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want to see what it looks like with beads? Yeah, we can try. Let's put some beads in there. All right, and. All right, so are these gonna go down? Oh, it feels so gross. It is gross. That is not slime. It's like a weird putty. So here are the beads. And again, if you want to go quickly, you're blocked. See? Your hands are not that dirty. But, go in slow. That's what she said. What? So I really don't think there's any point in going further with this kit. Because it's sh <coughs> Whoops. So with mixing tubes that are not for mixing and slime that isn't even slime, is just cornstarch and glue, this kit is just an absolute mess. So this 100% ricochet kit goes straight in the trash. Nay, it makes me so salty. If it was not cold today, I'd say we'd have to burn it. Let us know in the comment section below if you are a, a last minute gifter. I usually start checking for gifts somewhere around October, so I don't wait too long. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Which one did you have the most hope on? Let us know in the comment section below because we're very curious. This week's shoutouts go to Bricks and Weirdos, Kenneth Burley, Hannah Claxton, Emmy125, Housey07, Glitchy Clockwork, I love my hit and run bug, 
Hemi Birchen, MFTW Gacha, Angel Forever 1998, and Drawing Things 73. Remember, if you want a shout out in my videos, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook anytime with any of your creations. And if you want to reach my sister, you can find me on Instagram at nerdysister_sika. Until then, we will see you brains in the next video.